we are here with Katie in the van, driving from Senan to our show in Bentley. And Katie is tearing apart a package because inside this box is Katie's replacement water bottle. Look mm. at this, it's, it's baby pink. It's a delicate pink. Yeah. Oh. That is lovely. That is so nice. We're gonna be part of the gang again. <laughs> it's actually much nicer than the other one. Very pretty. It feels like Christmas day. <laughs> She's so happy. Yeah. Welcome to our get in at Penley Park. I think we're all slightly delirious today after that insanely long. long journey we did in the van. The set is up. A couple of minor repairs are taking place down here. Chris is doing some screwing. I just swept my car. And over here, Rachel is doing some sewing. <laughs> and, um, Katie's got her trusty screwdriver out again as well because her lights are being Ooh. a bit naughty today. And Dave is at the back there waiting for all of this to finish so we can do a sound check. Sir, I invite your highness and your train to my pool cell where you shall take your... Here is to the world for many a lady I have... This is Rachel modelling David Stefano costume. Of their tongues, having the bondage brought my two diligence here. You look amazing. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a wizard. As you can see at Penley, we set up our stage on top of the existing stage, which means we have to make some slight adjustments coming around the back. There is no tent, so our sort of dressing room in the forest is through there where you can just see Rachel. And then round here, as you can see, in order to fit the stage in, we have to get very, very close. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we're just getting ready for our show at Penley Park, and I thought I'd update you on Bruise Watch. I'm gonna warn you, it looks pretty grim right now. Uh, it is not a pretty colour at all. When I did it, it was a lovely blue and matched the colour of my dress, and less so now, but it is getting better. Welcome to our dressing room in the forest. We have this lovely wire, like a clothesline, all our costumes hanging on it. Walk past the lovely Katie, duck around the costumes here, and then we come out, and there is our stage. Well, that was an interesting show. So I threw out my shoulder, Chris twisted an ankle, and uh, Rachel took a cock to the face of the badminton variety. Oh yeah, and Rachel had a clash backstage where she smashed me with an accordion, but I'm fine. Smashed in the face with a cock. And I, I also knocked over a tin, a cello, and a cymbal. Oh yes, but you did it so beautifully quietly. That's the most impressive thing. But that's also just after I'd done my ankle, so yeah. I was like hobbling on my ankle trying yeah, to hold a tin so and a cello in it. That was yeah. a show full of injuries. Now we give Dave a free pass because Dave obviously had his smash on the head from the, um, the bin. But Katie, Katie, what did you bring to the I'm, team? There? I'm just made of tougher stuff, guys. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I smashed it. She smashed it. Because you know what the rest the of us stage, smashed ourselves. You can't yourself. That is true. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Sturts. This is one of only two indoor venues that we do on our tour. We're in a kind of almost tent theatre. So it's a bit indoor, it's a bit outdoor, uh, which means of course we haven't got the tent. So this is what our backstage looks like today. Costume rail and we've got this little cupboard here. Now when it comes to playing the epilogue, which myself, Rachel and David normally play, we will play that usually out over there just by the treads. But today, if you can hear the difference in my voice, we're playing in here because our instruments are so much louder than they would be open air that we need to be in here to do it. But yes, welcome to Sturts. Update on yesterday's injuries. Um, so if you remember, I did my shoulder. It's okay. It's been better, but it's okay. Chris is walking, so that's great news. And the best news of all is that Rachel's face is a normal colour and she does not have a black eye. We are here with Rachel, who is saying farewell to her boots, because as you can see, they've worked very hard this tour, and they have become unwearable. So if I come pan down to her feet now, you can see her lovely new boots. But I'm afraid, Rachel, it's time to let the old boots go. Thank you for your service. And I'm letting you go. Oh, it's really sad. <laughs> oh, no, that's Darth Vader. It is Darth Vader. We were trying to go for the funeral march. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello everyone, we are at Cock in the Court. We have set up and we're about to have food. It's been a really tough couple of weeks for us, so we're all really tired. And we've arrived at this place and they've told us they've got some lovely food. Look at this. <laughs> that looks brilliant. Look at that. There you are, hun. And this one's mine. Look at that. I've said a couple of times uh, to venue people, I'm probably on here, that like well fed actors are happy actors, and I think this is going to do wonders for everybody's morale. I mean, I'm jealous of your food. That looks really great. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh. oh no! <laughs> this is the uh, new pre-show warm-up. <laughs> this is how we warm up. Okay. Hello everyone, so I'm just about to go back down to the set to get ready to start the show. But I thought I'd do a little bit of bruise watch, see how we're getting on. Um, I know it might look bad, but actually, I think it's looking pretty good now compared to what it was. I've been putting Arnica on it on a daily basis, uh, which does seem to be helping. My shoulder is also feeling much better as well today, which is great, because Ariel moves around so much that I, I can't be injured. It's, it's just not viable. Um, so feeling a lot better. I'm now backstage, and it's slightly unusual today because we've got a tent. And yes, I know it's normally the other way around when I say it's unusual, but actually we've done the three shows and a travel day when we haven't had the tent. So here it is, back in all its tenty glory. I don't know if you can see from here, the set is on quite a hill. So the back of the set, our feet are very small and the front there very, very high. Our set is so much lower at the back, we have a little set of nails here for our mirrors. Now, this bottom one is normally so Rachel can see, um, and I will maybe use this one, though I do quite like the Rachel one, it has to be said. And then for the tall people, we have this one at the top. Uh, today, even if I put it on the tall one, it's, it's still me height. If anything, it's fractionally too low. That is how low our set is today. And what that means is that the ladders have to be at a much shallower angle than normal. Normal, they're quite steep like this. So it's all going to be a bit interesting. That's the show done. We have near missing that one though. So do you remember last year, Arundel and the bells? Oh, the bells. Well, in the interval, some lovely bell ringers came up to us to say they had noticed that we were doing a show and what time would be finished because they were about to start bell ringing. So well done, amazing bell ringers of the church on the Cockington Court Estate for actually coming and asking us because otherwise our second half would have been punctuated with the sounds of bells. So wonderful, they were brilliant and took the initiative to come and chat to us because <laughs> Having done it once before, I do not want to do that one ever again, so, whew. Welcome to Malvern. As you can see from the set behind me, we are on quite a slope today. So this end of the stage is nice and low, and this end is nice and high. Should be a really good show today. We've got some great weather for it, and we've got a day off tomorrow, so we're all in a good mood. Touring life done right. I just sat and ate half a block of sheep's milk cheese by the tent in the shade. Update, an entire block of cheese. An entire block of cheese, touring done right. Before we start tonight's show, I thought I would just catch you up on Baru's watch. Um, it's looking pretty good, I think, at the minute, looking a lot more brown than purple. I suspect that this vlog is going to have been a bit of a weird one, a bit bitty. Um, because we've been very tired, but hopefully it has still been a fun one. If not, sorry, what can I do? Um, but anyway, we're about to do our last show before we have a day off, which will be absolutely lovely. Um, so yes, you may not hear from me again, this may be the end of the vlog, in which case, this is a thrilling way to end a vlog with Katie dancing in the <laughs> background, which I absolutely love, yes! It's like the less than an hour to go. This is the only one show to go till the day of dance. <laughs> and I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> oh, I say. Just noticed how dark my eyebrows look. So 
Some of the skills you acquire on tour are applying makeup without a mirror. <laughs> and I appear to have slightly overdone my eyebrows today, but I didn't know. never mind. That's okay then. Um, Hang on. Oh. I'll Check them out. I'll dark mine. I don't know. Do you want to come and join? And, there we go. How? What do you reckon? Chris is okay. Mine look like Charlie from Busted. They're like fat slugs. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, I have. I plucked them on a brow. So oh, just, have you? Just for you. Watchers. Oh, that's good. That's and good. And I also yeah. look really red. Good. You don't look red in real life, though. Got you. Got to trust me on this, viewers. He does not look oh, red in is, real life. I feel like we're in a film. <laughs> and like there should be something like. Kiss me by sixpence on the rich yes. playing in the background. I feel like this is gonna have been the most weird vlog for people to watch. So if you're still watching, if this is the end of the video and you have stuck with it all the way, then thank you. Thank you very much. And hopefully next week's vlog will be a little bit more back to normal and a bit more interesting and a bit less weird. In the words of the naughty sensation Dido, I want to thank you <laughs> for giving me the best days of my life. <laughs>